thing I do it in and out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this install and makeup. This hair is provided by Nadula Hair. I was sent this hair. I have three bundles and a frontal. All the links and lengths of this hair will be in my description box. I'm just going to start off by layering this hair because I wanted this hair to have a lot of volume. And to have volume, you need layers. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my scissors and I'm dragging it down the hair. And this is going to give it some nice like soft type of layers you got you could already see it on both sides you see the difference all right you guys so right here i'm using my ruby kisses foundation that i always use and i'm putting that on my lace look how blended this is i actually really like this hair for some reason it's really nice and silky it doesn't shed too too much i did color the tips of the hair in a pink neon color when the video is available i will link it down below on the coloring because it's really, really easy. If you want to just change up the look of your hair, like just add some bleach to the ends and color it and it's just boom, new color. So here I'm just going to use Got To Be Gel. I just use this to like make sure the wig is staying in place since I do not have um, any, I don't have any elastic band in the wig. And I did make this wig myself. If you guys want to get your bundles made into a wig, my email will be linked in the description box. You can email me and we could talk about pricing and how to get your hair to me and all that stuff. So right here, I'm just laying it down. This is super, super easy. Really, really quick. I do recommend putting an elastic band in your wig if you're going to do this method. Because if you sweat, this is going to lift up because it's not glue. This is basically like a glueless type of unit. Even though you're adding some gel, it's going to lift up. So that's all I'm doing right here. I'm just blow drying it on cool. And then just blow dry it. And when it's a little bit like stuck, you're going to part out your baby hairs. Even if you're not doing baby hairs, you need to do this section just to make sure that it's melted. And the front hairs are not stuck to the glue. If the gel isn't dried, the hairs are going to be stuck. So I'm just going to remove them and have them facing forward. Clip my hair out of the way. I'm using this thick elastic band and i love this because this gives it tension and i'm just gonna tie it behind my ear because i don't like tying it on my ear because of my piercings but if you don't have any piercings you can tie it on your ear and that would be really good so here you can see after some time um i took it off i literally blow dried it probably for a good seven eight minutes and then it's melted so here i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the baby hairs this is really detailed but i already have a detailed baby hairs tutorial on my channel so if you want to see that i'm going to try to link it below if i don't link them below clock me in the comment section yes so here i'm just using my eyebrow razor to just cut these baby hairs and then we're going to move to the next step <laughs> I do have this part sped up, but all I'm using right here is my G Styling Mousse. G. It has purple writing, and you can find it at the beauty store. This is the only mousse I use. And I'm using a fine tooth comb, and I'm just swooping these baby hairs. I speed it up because I already have a dedicated video on how to do your baby hairs. It's exactly the same. I was just using gel in that video, and here I'm using mousse. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so right here, I'm blowing it on high heat. And I'm blowing it on high heat because since, I'm put, since I put the mousse, I don't want my wig to lift up. So right here, you can see how blended that is. I'm just going in and kind of getting rid of the loose hairs that might be just randomly sitting on my face. And you guys can see, that this is actually really, really amazing. Like, look how melted this is. You guys, if you try this um, method, even if you try it with glue, just try this exact method, your wig is going to be slayed. So right here, I'm just combing it out just to make sure that the baby hairs are nice and soft and looking natural as possible. And you can see I did part my hair on a mannequin head. I am going to post that video of how I curl and everything but i did part it on the mannequin head and i went back in and i made it a little bit better i was just looking at myself because this looks so good i'm going to show you how i get my crisp 
parting all I do is I tweeze out the middle part don't tweeze it too too much because you guys can see I kind of tweezed it too much and I was tweezing the side area of the middle part and I was messing it up so make sure you're you can see clearly where you're plucking and try to pluck in the middle as close as possible I'm using my hot comb just to flatten that out so it could be nice and flat to my head not bumpy at all my hot comb is linked in my description box so that's all I'm doing right here make sure it's hot combing it going back guys look how glamorous this looks like it looks so beautiful so that's all I'm doing right here is just hot combing my hair <laughs> Okay guys, so this is a little trick. You use your highlighting concealer, which is my LA Girl Fawn, and I take a flat, straight, a flat, straight brush, I guess, and I literally just drag that down the part. Try not to really like move too much and mess up because you guys can see how I messed up right there, but look how nice and seamless this looks. Like it just looks so clean and natural. And that's literally all I do to get my part to be nice and crisp and then right here I'm gonna be doing the makeup section I'm really excited about this so I'm using these three primers the first one is my milk primer I'm actually testing out this milk hydrating primer and I, I, I really really like it it helps my skin like even though I'm hot it doesn't make um the sweat go through my makeup and you guys will see that so I put that all over my face and then I'm gonna use my Smashbox photo finish primer and I put that on my face too this just helps mattify my face and give me a nice smooth canvas so that's all I'm doing right here and then I'm gonna use my I don't even know what eyeshadow primer this is I think this is the Smashbox not actually I think it's Tarte is the Tarte eyeshadow primer it's some eyeshadow primer but I just use it for my smile lines and that just helps my smile lines to not crease because I smile way too much and my smile lines be creasing so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows I did not put any product on my eyebrows I literally just clean it up with some concealer and my eyebrows need to get done that's why I didn't feel like filling them in because when they're not done they're like super thick and they do too much so I'm just cleaning them up a little bit with this concealer and then I'm gonna put my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand all over my eyelids as a base. I did not set this base at all. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be using these four colors. This palette is the 35E palette from Lick and Lash Beauty. So screenshot it and go check them out. I did pay for that palette myself, just so you know. So I'm using them exactly in that order from one to four. And I'm just gonna play some music because this is basically just packing on the eyeshadows and blending them. But just remember how I numbered them, that's exactly how I'm putting them on. Tom makes beats. <laughs> so, uh, this is for my lady. I'm my friend that's who She's not a ghost too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Alright you guys, so right here I am going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Sand and I'm just going to cut my crease. You can actually use any type of like concealer brush that's flat and small or even a fan brush that's small, you can use that to cut your crease. But that's all I'm doing right here. This is really simple and easy for me. And then I'm going back in and I'm blending that pink shade that I had in the crease with the concealer, just so it's not too harsh. I'm going in with the number four, which is this turquoise color, and I'm just gonna pack that into the cut crease area. 
yeah, yeah. Icicle, hot day, something you can ride like bicycle. Hot on my sleeve, always straight, no uncle. Me and your girl, we can keep it so simple. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Say she want banana, then I now get big like a server. When y'all moon on, me now want pull up. But if she want to get, then I'm gonna give some more. All right, you guys. So for my under eye, I'm going in with the number two and also the number one. So I did number two at the edge and number one at the middle. I mean, at the front. Right here, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector. And I'm just covering up my dark marks and my mustache area. So that's all I'm doing right here. I'm blending in all the brushes that I use are from BH Cosmetics. All right, you guys. So right now, I'm going to go in with my NARS and this illuminator or whatever. The NARS foundation is in the color Marquises. And I got this... Um, glowy thing from cvs you can get any type of face illuminator or like glow serum type thing and i'm just mixing that with my foundation to give me more of a summer type of glow because i mean y'all this be making you look so godly and goddessy and all that anyways i'm just making sure that i'm moving my nose so i could get into the creases at the side of my nose then i'm gonna go in with my la girl pro concealer in tan sand and i'm just going to Put that in all my highlighted areas and i did blend out my concealer using my brush because i couldn't find my beauty blender but yes right here i did put a few dots of the ellie girl pokins no tart shape tape in tan sand but I feel like I should start putting a little bit less because it's really, really light for me. And I don't want my highlight to be too drastic. I am going in and I'm blending my concealer. I do actually use some um, Real Technique brushes too. But I always use BH Cosmetic brushes or Real Technique brushes. That's the only thing. So here I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. And this is, this is in the color Warm Earth. And this is just gonna bronze up my skin and not make me look so like ghostly. So I'm doing that. I'm gonna use my foundation brush that I used with um, my foundation earlier. And I'm gonna use that to blend out my contour. Also, you wanna make sure that you're pushing the contour up and not really dragging it down. And yeah. Alright you guys, right before we finish blending, I just want to let you know that I did set my face with my micro, my micro Smooth Sephora Powder, my Sasha Buttercup, and I just highlight my face with a bunch of eyeshadows. That clip got deleted so I didn't get to show you guys, so you guys are going to see me jump from being blended to being set, and I didn't want you guys to think like, I don't know. But that clip got deleted and that's all I did. So basically, um, oh, I want you guys to also tell me if you like these types of videos and I will definitely be making more of these. I'm using this um, lip pencil. This is the NYX lip pencil in the color brown. I'm also going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the color milkshake. And I went on top of it with my NYX suede lipstick in, um, what color is that? london my favorite color and then i lined it one more time with this um glizzy lip liner from glizzy gloss i am gonna link those stuff down below i'm gonna try to link it if you really want it then just email not email just comment down below so yeah that's all i'm doing right here i'm just showing you my lip combo and then we're gonna be done with this look tell me if you guys like these longer videos and if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below a pink heart with a sparkle. And yeah, these eyelashes are from Pure Cosmetics. They're in the style Jet Setter. They're my favorite lashes. And this pencil is from the beauty store. And this mascara is the Bad Girl Mascara. You can get it at Sephora. It's Smashbox, I think. I'm not sure. Just type in Bad Girl Mascara and it's going to pop up. I'm using my Morphe Set and Mist spray. This spray smells heavenly. I'm going in with the mascara at the top. 
I did go ahead and brush out my brows to make it cute. And then I'm going to reveal my frontal, which is melted. So it's not even a frontal no more. This is my scalp. Make sure that every time you guys do your makeup, you take a makeup wipe and clean off your baby hairs because you do not want no crusty looking baby hairs from the makeup. So I'm using a makeup wipe just to wipe the baby hairs off. They weren't too messed up, but I know that's not cute at all. So here I just take down the hair and it's mad cute. I did go in and add a little bit more curls to it at the top just so those layers could pop through. And yeah, this hair is from... Now do the hair again. I'm going to link it in my description box. Tell me if you guys love this makeup look. And also please tell me if you like longer videos because I want to make sure if I should make some more. And this is how the hair looks in natural light with no filter. Like this is bomb. Like look at this makeup. Look at this frontal. I just love it. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye. Show something you got Move fire If you were right, I'd be up by that